Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will create a fresh Laravel application, Laravel S7 application with Tailwind CSS on the front end. So as you can see, we have a fresh Laravel 7 application with Tailwind CSS on the front end. So let's just create this. If you like it, leave a like and please subscribe and let's just start it. Okay, so first of all, we will install Laravel 7. So let's go to the laravel.com click on documentation you get the 7.x version and let's install it open up your folder where you would like to install your brand new application mine is inside this youtube folder let's right click open up a console let's make it bigger and create a new laravel application so just type in laravel new and your project name let's call it uh, block project or whatever we want hit enter Okay, as you can see, our application is ready. So if you check it, we have this block project folder inside our YouTube folder. So let's just see the inside this folder, see the block project. Okay, so we are inside this new project. Let's go back to the Laravel play page and go to the front end and front end scaffolding. And if you scroll down, I will install this uh, Laravel UI. And the reason is why I do this, because I want uh, Vue.js as well with my application. So right click, paste, hit enter. Right, that's done as well. Next step is PHP Artisan UI view dash dash out. We need that one as well. Copy and paste. Right, that's done as well. Let's open up our new uh, project in VS Code. Okay, so add just our new folder block project that's what you just created add right so this is our application if you go down to uh, package.json as you see we already have uh, Vue.js it's not installed yet but it's uh, listed as our dependency and we have bootstrap as well but we will remove it soon uh, and we also have jQuery it will be removed but I will add it back because I will use jQuery in my project but if you don't use it it's uh, optional for you so it will be removed as well right so first of all if you type into Google uh, Laravel 7 front-end preset tailwind CSS then you will see this Git github page and as you can see we need to do this composer require for this project so let's copy this line and go back to our uh, console. Right click uh, and paste, hit enter. Right, so that's when it's done. And now you can see A and B version of installing this uh, front end CSS. I will go for the PHP Artisan UI Tailwind CSS dash dash out because I want the authentication scaffolding as well. Copy and paste again. Right, that's done. So if we are going back to our VS code now, we will see that uh, our bootstrap has been removed. We still have uh, Vue.js though. And as I mentioned, I will add back jQuery to this uh, project. Now we can install our uh, dependencies. So let's go back to the console and type in npm install let's create our database for this uh, project because as i mentioned we are doing uh, authentication scaffolding so we can log in and register users so let's go to the localhost php my admin and let's create a new database so hit new and let's call it block project I set the char set for UTF-8 and B4, Unicode, hit create. So our database is created called block project. Let's set it inside our uh, application. If you go back to the VS code, go to the .env file and let's call our database block project and my username is root and I don't have password on my local machine. Everything is automatically saved. 
So now we have the application, now we have the database. So let's just uh, comply our uh, JS and CSS files. So do npm run watch. It will automatically comply our CSS and JS file. And let's open up one more uh, console and open up a new git bash uh, console. And let's run our server as well. So php artisan surf command. And as you can see, we can open up our new project on this uh, on this address. And here we are, we have this uh, newly freshly installed Laravel 7 application with uh, Tailwind CSS on the front end. If you go to the register, you can see our ta Tailwind CSS is working as we expected. So let's just create a, a new user to test this application out. Okay, click register. And we forget one thing, we need to migrate our files. So let's just do that. I will stop this server and type in php artisan migrate hit enter if you check our database now we have the user stable and everything now okay so let's just run our server again go to this uh, address hit register again click register and as this time, as you can see, we are logged in as a test user. So our application is working as expected and we could log in if you want to as well. If you check our database, hit refresh, we have one new freshly created user. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helped to you and please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thanks. Bye.